right in the Genoa sale. So to do that, we're first going to um, unlock the furl line, which wraps up the sale. This is the starboard um, sheet for the Genoa, and this is the port sheet for the Genoa. Mm -hmm. So we're going to loosen both of those up, and as we furl it in, we uh, keep a bit of tension on this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So just subtitles addition to furl a sail means to curl it inside or around the main main steam. What is it called? Main boom? That's that's what it is. Okay, well, I can't turn you into the window because I'm not quite the sea room, so I can totally see why like head not headphones but like headpieces, you know, would be handy because if the engine keeps going and the wind is very loud and the sails are flapping, it gets fairly loud, let's say. And the birds and seagulls are like all happy singing. You can hear each other. <laughs> yeah. All there, all your muscles. <laughs> no, it's nearly there. More? More. Teen a bit more, let's say about half a meter or so. Yeah. Not even that. It's all right. That's it. Okay, give it a try to. No, I didn't have it. What? That's it. Good. And furling has been completed. Cool. Yeah, mm. Lock it up on the plate. Oh, yes, yes, yes. On the plate. Okay. Uh, because the furling line always gets locked on this plate. And we do OXO knot. So. Yay! And one more. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fishing again, look at that. So, this guy here, Donna. Which guy? The far line. <coughs> you wrap it up nicely. Mm hmm. Kind of, kind of twist it as you wrap it so it doesn't cross over like that part. Mm-hmm. Uh, then you do this trick, which is over here. On the, on the stainless, not on the guardrail. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a tricky trick. <laughs> Yay. <coughs> I saw it was done like that yesterday and I tried to do it again but I think it slightly differently. Yes please. <coughs> So far than the main sail, we're basically loosening off the alcohol and then Dan is going to wrap it up up there. It's, sorry? I'm going to wrap it up on the... They're going to furl it in essentially, is it furl it? Yeah. I'm going to furl it with the yellow thing. Yeah. Can you show us the yellow one? <laughs> hmm? I'll hold the camera. So this is okay. the yellow thing. We are using this one because it doesn't lock. Yeah. And the reason why we don't want it to lock, I have no idea. Uh, because if the furler goes and that thing whips around, it could break your, hand, break your arm. I see, so it could just... So it makes it pop off. So can you see on the, on the mast, on the furler, you've got a knob that you move, you lift it and move it across 
Oh, yeah. So left hand side. It's called so that it turns it the ratchet, ratchet on. on the left and yep. the on the right. That's right. So you need to go left to the ratchet. Yep, to ratchet. That's it. I, I, I release this clutch. Yep, release the clutch all the way. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Uh, the one time I had to go into that, yeah. the thing was broken. <laughs> I've been slow to the print. Keep a little bit of tension on it because we're trying to, trying to yeah. fill the cell tight. <laughs> A little bit more, keep going, little keep going, more. keep going until all you can see is blue. A little bit more, a little bit, that's it, there. That's it, you're done, you're done, yeah. After a week of sailing, we thought it'd be nice if our guests saw something of the interior of uh, some of the islands, so we took them to a local beauty spot, Nidri Waterfalls. Now, we've been to Nidri Waterfalls before. The last time we were here, the river was in flood. And if you want to see that episode, I'll put a link uh, in the top right above. Okay, we've come all the way up. Oh no, you do the commentary. So, travel is the loud one. Oh no, talk about the waterfall because I already introduced the waterfall that we were going to the waterfall well, because the waterfall, there's no water. So, you need to close your eyes nice and slowly. Feel your body being heavy and now picture a waterfall behind you on the road, falling down, 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 down. down. There are no dogs barking and you just relax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is the waterfall, and at least there's a little pool, which was nice and clear, but it's now covered in muck. <laughs> so, we well, reach the waterfall, the main waterfall, but unfortunately, it's not the water. So there's a little trickle, but it's spectacular. Lots of happy. Okay, the kind of a dry waterfall, and we are. So, really? Are you going in? Yeah. Uh huh. Seriously. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> and one go round. <laughs> Whoa! It is fresh! Fresh! Fresh, I just got this one. There's another one to another one to your right. Right? The first time you're going to be here from the trip. You're definitely the right color to find me. Whoa! You're definitely the right color to find me. Okay. Whoa! But you know what? I think it's really 15 of all this in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much the hottest water of the year. This is like where everybody thinks, come on, ask 15 more. It's like that. It's like that. It could be in it all day. Oh. Ah. Okay. Okay. Oh, who's eating it? Look, it's gone. It's gone. Are you ready? It's going that way. That's our interval training. Yeah, we do like a workout where you just hit like a few happy happy things. So it's right. 
Não. 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 She would never drop a thing in the water, would she? Yeah. Yes, she would. Nice. Can you bounce it off the wall to compete? Oh, yeah. Okay. Ready? 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 Steady? Oh. Oh, no. Oh my god. Uh, I do not need to and I deliver. <laughs> you definitely confused. That's it, Trov. Go then. Go get it. Mommy, look at her. Right. Wait a second. She's going. This is my turn. Joker. 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 <laughs> oh, she's sinking. She's sinking. She's sinking. She's sinking. Oh. Come on. Come on. I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to. Oh, it's going to be straight in anyway. It's just in case the dog is really misunderstood, right? Because my Russian is kind of not. You know, it's a bit rusty. Yeah. So we go left. And put on it. Kagadiet. Just the water. Water. No, bravo. The body. No, water. Kagadiochki. Kagadiochki. Are you prepared? Prepare, Isa. Prepare. 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 I explained. I give up. Joka! Joka! Okay. So tips on the sw on the dive. Just have you got any tips for me? Tips is I did a crash dive <laughs> Keep your head, I go this way. Keep your head and arms firmly together, arms at your ears. And crown of your head, for, you know, your beam when you're swimming goes in the water. And keep your body straight. So don't flex through your hips. Yeah, don't flex through your hips, go. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Heading over to Mitikus and we decide to have some fun. There's very little wind, so we do some man overboard drills with the only other boat in the entire sea getting in the way. Uh, and then we do some uh, paddleboard surfing and things like that. Which side do you want to retrieve her? On? Which side do you want to retrieve her, Tana? Port side. Port side. On the gear. Good. Yeah, well done. Turn to port. 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 Missed. <laughs> The, the, the ropes are on the opposite side, so it's hard to put a heart. You think it's her? <laughs> yeah, it's a her, alright. So, right, turn to, turn to port high, hard, I think, at this moment. So, turn to port. There's actually been a breeze there now. Exactly. It's a little bit like that. Turn to port. Turn to port. Turn to port. 
Yay. Will I just take it up here or do you want me to bring it around the back? Oh. 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 Where are they? I look <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> oh, wow. You do the same on the rib, I, I assume, on the to the wing side yes. of the person as well, yeah, because you would get blown on with the wrist. Stop! 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 Hey! Stop. Look here! Look! Tom, look at the board! Look where right you're going! That's it! Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh -oh. Wait on your left leg! Wait on your, wait wait on your left! left. Uh -oh. Because this brings the diagonal it shortens it, yep. which means it stretches the sail or the main sail. Yep. <clears throat> then this had to be tightened, yep. and that opens up the sail that way. Yep. And in the end, it gets really, really hard. And the reason for that is because it's too high, but it's already open, so you need to bring it down. Yep. So the gap on the bottom is the same everywhere. Yep. Okay? And then you lock it. So you loosen it up, but then you lock it. So there's not too much pressure on this. Yep. All right, well, then, we need to decide which side this goes. Yeah. Right? So, and for that, <clears throat> we need to balance these two and then one. And because the wind is coming from that way, yeah. we decided to put it to the starboard side. Yeah. But, um, yes. And if it was 90 degrees, there would be no wind coming into it, so we needed to angle it a little bit. Yeah. So the wind could lean against it. Yeah. And then... <clears throat> but I'm not sure why is it not fully open. Because we're anticipating more wind. Because what? We're, we're anticipating more wind. We opened it when we had 20 knots of wind. Oh, I see. Okay, so I didn't want to open it fully in case we got 25 knots or 30 knots. Yeah, because we've got we've got thunderstorms predicted throughout the day. So we only That's open thunder it squalls. If the yeah. wind is mild, we open it more to catch more wind. Yeah. But if the wind is too strong, yeah. So we close it a little bit so we don't flip yeah. upside it's, down. It's easier to open it than it is to close it. It's easier to open than to close it. Yeah. Because so if, if, there's, if there's less wind, down. we can open it. But if there's more wind, it makes it harder to close it. Yeah. Do you know what would happen yeah. if you opened it too much and the wind got too strong? It gets overpowered. The boat starts leaning over. Yeah. Okay. And in which case, you have to loosen the um, out hole to let the sail flap while you oh. bring some in. And then you need to take the to power out of the sail. And I will tell you what else would happen. We would have to use your coffee cup. Yeah. It says that, you know, the upside ah, down coffee cup, okay. which says if you, if you can read this, you have capsized. Yes. Uh, so again, okay, so if the wind gets too strong and it was too open, yeah. you have to loosen it up so it flaps. Yeah. So it's easier to roll it. In. Yes, yes. Right, okay. So that's why it's on this side and not too open because in case the winds get too strong. Yeah. And then we open the genre, which is, even from my memory, it's the yellow line on this side opens Correct. it. Correct, yes. And that's now just watch curling. what's happening with this boom, Rob, because it's coming in. <laughs> it Whoa! Did. Was it supposed to be loose? No. Okay, now I'm kind of on... And it's caught. It's caught here. Yeah, the wind keeps on. No, All right. There and the... So what we do, straight away, is we tighten this. So we from moving side. We need to right get control there. of the boom back. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I don't want anybody's head 
in the way because it will crack it like a watermelon. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that's just brought it back into control, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> and because there's less wind anyway, it's okay. And so why did you say decide on this angle now? Sorry? Why did you decide on I this just angle? wanted to get this boom so that it wasn't flapping. Oh, so the yeah. wind has changed Well, you could fasten the rope, the preventer, onto the shroud, um, but because we've got less wind, I just wanted to bring this, this into, into control before anybody goes forward. Yeah. Uh, well, we're coming back onto a beam reach now, so. Uh, and the wind is getting back up again, so that's okay because now. We can loosen the clutch and we can let this back out gradually. Okay. Yeah. And then we can we can fasten the preventer. Do we need to unloop it completely? No, I just want to let it go on its own steam with the wind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the wind again, if you look at the telltale, it's coming back to close hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Any worry about the yeah, don't want your head anywhere near that level. So, because the chop is so big, we are going against the waves, which means the bow, which is the front of the uh, boat, is kind of pointing more like towards the waves, even though we do want to go left there, which is the board side. But the waves are coming from the starboard side, from this side. So we are kind of pointing to go more that way than we really want to go towards. But then we will kind of go like this way and then back in an angle to fit where we want to get. We're going to start chopping. So Andy is getting a life jacket on with this yellow strap. And the yellow strap is going to be uh, like attached to this strap for when he goes on the deck, which is the front of the boat. And the dogs are not allowed to go there because they could fall off. And if you are here in the cockpit, we don't need to wear those life jackets at the moment. Wow, well, not, not yet. No. Well, I not yet. It's not that long. Yeah, not yet. So it's a little uncomfortable. He's looking for lots of human safety. Yeah, but then it's really support, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. So I'm just going up on the deck to the... I'm guessing he's going to roll in slash in the main, the main uh, sail, and he's like attached to the to the yellow strap that I forgot the name of it. And yeah, I mean, I'm like after my hand sickness pill, so I'm kind of enjoying it now. <laughs> Ten minutes ago, I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> So I am up at the bow of the boat and this is where we're staying tonight, which is Mythicus. Uh, this is another little place called Episcopi and we just came from thunderstorms over there and we're anchoring up. I'm going to grab something to eat. So we are just arriving into Mythicus, which is right here. And we're anchoring up for the night and still haven't decided whether we're cooking dinner or going for dinner. Decision to be made. Woohoo! So we are going to go to Taverna. I'm not sure which one. And this is awesome. But awesome it's always good to do. Just bring I don't need to go to bring my tummy. So, mm, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so pretty. Oh, and the thread matches the table. That's yeah. amazing. So, 
for being in it for this day. So this is our last breakfast and we are in this amazing place. The windows are much nice on the plate. And we just swam all along here. And now we're in for iced coffee, Greek omelets, which I didn't know had meat in it. So it just which is great for me that the rubber have a <laughs> get. And we're also having this, which isn't tiramisu, but kind of, no, it doesn't look like it. It's like it spaghetti cake. Yeah, <laughs> spaghetti cake. <laughs> So if I ever made this into a big long video about going on a sailing trip to Greece, this is the last bit of it. And um, I just want to say I had an amazing time. It's absolutely brilliant. Sailing did not let us down. And we had so many great swings. Mm -hmm. Lots of food. It's just, it's just that I don't believe it's going to be the last video. <laughs> we still have like two hours to go. More. <laughs> Captain, it's forever. Bye bye.